Hey guys, it's Tom, Old Man Reefer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use reef cement to put some dry live rock together to form a cradle for a Maxima clam I have. Here's the clam, and I've been having some trouble with the blue spotted goby and some astra snails climbing on top and knocking it over. This is some Marco rock I picked up at I believe, I don't know, one of the vendors in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I just have it stacked here, you know. But this is uh, the closest stuff I've seen to like looks wise uh, as real live rock. Uh, depending on what kind of live rock you get, you know, they all look a little different. So I'm going to use these pieces here, right here. And I'm going to break them up and I'm going to make a little cradle for that to rest in. And I'll just have to look at the pieces and see what I can come up with. Okay, so check out my old man tools. Now I'm not this old, but these channel locks are probably from the 1940s. Uh, these were probably my father's. This is a small hammer. This is a little more current, but it's just a little baby hammer. And this is an old screwdriver. Uh, ideally, you could use a chisel. I may not even have to use this. A lot of this is luck, guys. My background uh, was art for 25 years, and my specialty was sculpture. So basically, uh, I'm going to take these rocks and visualize what I can do to make a cradle that obviously will be stable for the clam to rest in. This stuff can be kind of sharp, so I would recommend that you wear gloves. If I really pull at it, sometimes they break, but see this isn't. So this is where I come in and I do my, my hammer. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this top piece here if I can. Get inside that. Okay. This is the E Marco 400 uh, reef cement. I like to call it mortar, reef mortar. It acts just like a cement would. Uh, in my other life, I do a lot of masonry also. So this is really, to me, like a cement mortar. But it's aquarium safe, reef safe, and when you mix it up, it mixes up coralline pink. And here's the bonding agent that you put in. This stuff saves, as you can see, I've had it a while, and I've put it in a a spring bottle and put the top on. I've had this probably for a year now. It doesn't go bad, or at least in the time I've used it. All right, I'm in the studio. You don't really have to measure, but you want, uh, if you've used cement before, um, you need rubber gloves for this. So you really don't have to measure this. Uh, basically, I put uh, an amount that I think I'm going to use within about 10 minutes because it's considered a hydraulic cement and it will harden rather quick. So, all right, and then what you do is you add a little bit of the bonding agent a little at a time and you want to make it like a you want to mix it like it's a uh, just, like, just like a cement really a little bit thicker than a cement I don't know if you can see that but I'll show it to you I'm just mixing it around when you buy it it comes with a little mixing stick 
but actually with the gloves on I'm gonna go right in there with the gloves Need a little bit more and if you add too much of the bonding agent and it starts to get too watery like mine looks like it's getting uh, you can always add a little bit more cement see so this is a little too see this is too soupy as we say in the so I'm gonna add a little bit more but this color will dry pink it's what I used to cover those rocks in my nano reef it dries a coralline pink. I'm going to add a little bit more. See if that'll dry it. Well, it's getting a little better now. Yeah. If it's too soupy, when you try to bond rocks together, obviously it's not going to hold. Alright, so here is my pieces from before. And it's okay if the cement gets on this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be uh, deliberately, a little deliberately sloppy with it. Is I'm going to put a little here. It's okay if you use more than you need because you want it to be that way. It's got a stick on both sides. Obviously you're not going to move it once you get it into place. See, like that. Once you get it into place, you... Alright. I'm going to put a little on this side. Now if you're doing uh, rockscapes, aquascape, you'd be piling. So I am going to be piling in a second, but before I do that, I have to get this on. Once you get it, you don't want to mess with it too much. You don't want to, as they say in art, you don't want to overwork your project. You know, if you overwork it, then you're going to screw it up like I'm about to do, but I'm going to stop there. That's it for today, guys. Subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use